Welcome back YouTube, you have Ahmed again from In-Depth Thick Reviews and this is my second comparison between Google Assistant and Siri but this time it's totally different because I have here the new Google Assistant version 2 on the Pixel 4 XL and you all know how much Google improved the Google Assistant with the launch of the Pixel 4 so now it can take endless back-to-back -back commands plus it's extremely fast because all the smart algorithms used by the Assistant are saved locally on the device and the purpose of this comparison is not to trick any of them I will use normal commands however what matters here is how much time each assistant will take to do the same exact commands so let's see how each one will perform but before getting started let's make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video so let's jump in Now let's start with Google Assistant. Set the alarm at 8 a.m. Remind me to call my friend tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll remind you tomorrow at 8 a.m. Add milk, bread and cheese to my shopping list. What's on my shopping list? Take a note. What's the note? This is a test. What are my notes? Turn off all the lights. Turn on Wi-Fi. Increase the brightness by 5%. Increase volume by 5%. Show me London photos. The ones with buses. Share on WhatsApp. Who do you want to share the screenshot with? My other number. Reply, it was an amazing trip. What's the weather? What about the weekend? Send it to my wife. Reply, what about going to the pool this weekend? Take a selfie in five seconds. Multiply ten by five. Add four. Divide by two. Subtract three. Thank you. It took 2 minutes and 35 seconds, so let's move on to Siri. Set the alarm at 8 a.m. Okay, it's on. Remind me to call my friend tomorrow morning. Okay, added. Add milk, bread, and cheese to my shopping list. Okay, added. What's on my shopping list? You have three reminders on your shopping list. Take a note. What do you want it to say? This is a test. Okay, I created a note. What are my notes? I found one item. Turn off all the lights. Okay, the lights are off. Turn on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is already on. Increase the brightness by 5%. The screen is already as bright as it gets. Increase volume by 5%. I'll speak louder. Show me London photos. The 
The ones with buses. Here's what I found. Share on WhatsApp. So I have to do that manually. Reply, it was an amazing trip. Who do you want to send it to? My other number on WhatsApp. What do you want to say? It was an amazing trip. Here's your WhatsApp message. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. What's the weather? The weather's looking good today. Up to 35 degrees. What about the weekend? The weather's looking good for this weekend. Up to 33 degrees. Send it to my wife. What do you want to say? The temperature is 33 degrees this weekend. What about going to the pool? Here's your message. Ready to send it? Send it. Okay, it's sent. Take a selfie in five seconds. So it doesn't take the, the selfie, I will count five. One, two, three, four, five. Multiply 10 by 5. The answer is 50. Add 4. It's 54. Divide by 2. The answer is 27. Subtract 3. It's 24. And Siri did it in 3 minutes and 26 seconds. So I'm done with the comparison and the new Google Assistant version 2 is clearly the winner because of two things. First, it only took 2 minutes and 35 seconds versus 3 minutes and 26 seconds on the iPhone, which is a difference of 51 seconds. Secondly, look at how many times I had to touch the iPhone screen to complete the commands. While I only touched my Pixel 4 XL screen 2 times to finish 13 commands. So that's pretty much it for today. I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.